Hello, dear friends. Welcome once again to the International Fab Talks. My dear friends, it's a pleasant surprise to have a special person with us today. And guess who is it? She is none other than Nagapriya Sarvanan from Coimbatore, Tamil Nadu, India. She's here with us to share her journey. And she has a speciality of connecting with people from all age groups. And that's the speciality that lies within her. She wants to empower children, adolescents, teens, the adults, the senior citizens as well. And that's why she's, she's sharing the stage with us today, wanting to empower you, empower me as well, and all of us over here. So friends, let's welcome our special celebrity today. She is Nagapriya from Coimbatore. Ma'am, welcome to the session. Thank you. And a very warm good afternoon to one and all listening to me. Thank you for your warm welcome, Andrea. Thank you, ma'am. Dear ma'am, I'd like to introduce you in an official way. With your permission, may I go ahead, dear? Yes, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. In fact, dear friends, our guest and celebrity is an exceptional student. She's been a great achiever right through. She's been, you know, scoring good marks and has been the topper of the college, winning a gold medal and standing as the topper of the university where she studied. And that's really nice. She's a very studious student. And now with all of the experience from her background of studies and experience, she would like to share her journey with you to empower you. So let's get to know about our special guest in an official way. She is a great counselor and a psychologist, a strong person with a strong passion towards psychology. Neuroscience, behavioral science, she loves to connect with the bright young minds and of course not leaving the other ones behind. The other ones who are not so bright, if you think she's going to pick them up and make them brighter and let them shine in the universe. Irrespective of age, as I earlier mentioned in the, at the start, irrespective of age or gender, she would like to collaborate, connect and network and uplift those type of people who really require help from her source, from her energy. She's ready out there to give the best to all of you. Why? She's a constant learner. And she wants all of you also to be constant learners till you feel that, yes, I've learned enough. And that is the last day of our lives. She would like to be there for you when you need her the most. You could connect with her. She's very warm, approachable. She has a lovely way of talking to people. The Once you connect with her, there is an instant bonding. It's like family. Yes, she is one of us. She thinks like one. She thinks and she conducts herself just the way would, we would conduct with our family or you know, collaborate with our family or get together along on this beautiful journey called as life. And she's a great cook. And that I like it. She loves cooking. Not only cooking, she loves to read and listen to music. Apart from that, she loves something. This is called as unplanned travel trips. She'd like to go on beautiful destinations and it should be unplanned. And there is the thrill of life, getting to know new people, getting to meet different uh, you know, people of different cultures and having a wonderful time experiencing something new around you. And that really is one of the greatest things to keep your brain sharp and alive. You know, if you want to be sharp, you have to just have something new in your life every day. And that's where she focuses her expertise in neuroscience and neuroplasticity. As I, I guess, if I'm right, we'll get to know more from our special guest. She will tell us more now in a few minutes. She would love to go to unknown destinations and she loves to do social experimenting. She'd love to observe the behavior of people, how she could help them, what she wants to observe, she observes, and what she doesn't want also, she gets to observe, and that's a learning for her. Yes, people behave in this way as well, and she will research on that, and she will grow in her field of expertise to contribute to the society. And dear friends, she's been helping a lot of people in fixing behavioral issues, especially of children, teens, adolescents, and issues related to relationships, you know, maybe you may be a couple, relationship issues it could be. Identity crisis. Most of us have lost our identity. We don't know who we are. We don't know where we belong. Do we belong to our family or to the college where we study or to the workplace? So this identity crisis, identity crisis comes up and he or she is there to bring the best out of you, make you identify who you are and what is the purpose of your life. Mood swings. All of us, we go through that. She's very keen on making you understand why you undergo these mood swings and how you could come out of it. She even has special classes and techniques where she online and offline gives her energy to bringing out a better you. She's also into anger management as she focuses on online and offline classes and sessions, emotional issues, 
self-esteem, how to develop a good self-esteem. And that's become a major problem among the youth nowadays. So she works on that anxiety and fear, just to name a few. She's conducted, as I said earlier, both online and offline programs. She attended several webinars, workshops, focusing mainly on the younger generation to bring them up to that level for them to feel good that they are worth living in this universe. And dear friends, I would like to add on, she is a C CBT a certified trainer and DBT as well as ACT trainer. And she's certified in CBT, DBT, ACT. She's an NLP practitioner as well. And from she's been getting that certification from the next NLP Research Institute, Chennai. She has a diploma in basic skills in child psychology, diploma in foundation skills in child psychology, diploma in advanced skills in child psychology. Just look at the love she has for children. That really speaks volumes, ma'am, about you. A certificate course in neuroplasticity, a certificate course in cognitive enrichment training, a certificate course in behavior modification. She's also a certified graphologist from the Calcutta Institute of Graphology. Apart from that, she's conducted several workshops and one conducted at, uh, I'm sorry, let me get myself right, workshops conducted at Montessori schools, the little ones, high schools, higher secondary schools, colleges, and she has given many talks in communities as and different places, even in the community radio channel. And that's really nice, ma'am. A special workshop was conducted for the Tamil Nadu state government, sponsored faculty development program that is the F FDP programs there she's also been giving her time and space and energy uh, for the engineering colleges in India on the topics how do we think and how do we learn and she's been doing all of this another one thing she specializes dear friends temper tantrums how to control our temper and I'm going to learn that from her that's that will be especially for me because I have a little temper and I have to calm down Maybe I have it at like say 50%, it should go below 50. We'll ask her how all of you out there could learn very much today. And I love this fact, she lives by one rule. Everybody's worth living on this universe. She wants everyone to live a complete life. Life is a gift from God and let's live in peace. That's what she says. Everybody's worth living on this universe. Ma'am, I really uh, applaud you for sharing that one liner, giving respect to everybody alive on this earth. Welcome, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you, dear. Thank you, ma'am. Thanks for accepting the invite from the International Fab Talks. Much appreciated. I'm really in awe. How, how have you been able to finish all of these? So many courses and so much of courage and passion you've had to over, overcome all the obstacles and yet go into this zone and take over all this just to serve the society. And I guess you have your interest more with the children where you focus on bringing up the, the new generation in the right way, if I'm not mistaken. Of course, you are there even sharing your uh, expertise with people who are adults and senior citizens. Yes, dear, we'd, get, we'd like to know more from you instead of me talking more. I do allow you to do it now. How would you define yourself and who is the real Nagapriya? Yeah, uh, thank you, Andrea, for sharing so much about me. In fact, it was a nostalgic trip for me to just look back and see myself. If I have to define myself, I am a curious child with a scientific brain. Those two words, those two words would explain me. A person with a childlike curiosity and a scientist-like brain to explore the universe around Beautiful, ma'am. I like this, the way you shared it, you know, a childlike, you know, feeling inside and as well having the curiosity to look around you, learn, explore. Wonderful. In fact, all of us should be like you, have the inner child in us alive. And at the same time, try to look around our environment, try to explore with a scientific brain, with a scientific outlook, a modern outlook. Dear ma'am, how would you manage stress? How have you been managing stress? How are you teaching your uh, you know, students and clients how to manage their stress online and offline. If we are online, we are in stress. Even if you're offline, we are stressed out. So how do you manage your stress? How could you give us the tips? Uh, the recent times 
wherever I go, I hear this word stress and stress and stress. And basically, we have to understand we need some basic minimal amount of stress to carry out our activities of daily living. According to me, there is nothing as stressful. It's basically the interpretation that you give to any situation that makes it, makes it either a really stressful situation as a distressing situation or something where you feel that I have only good stress, which I call it as you stress. So situations as such are not as stressful. The meaning we give to the situation makes the difference. So if you ask me how I personally balance it, uh, fortunately, I have this tagline where my passion meets my profession. So as such, it's really not stressful for me. In fact, I am enjoying my journey. My passion meets my profession. You know, my passion mixes with my profession. That's really nice. And the way we take things, you know, we think everything is stressful. Now you ask me now, I'm really stressed about the India, the match that is going on between India and Australia. I'm not watching it because I get stressed off. So that's the importance I'm giving to that situation, right? So that's really very true. Yes, dear friends, we have the cricket match going on and we wish both the teams all the best. The best one should win. Yes, ma'am. Yes. So I don't support India. I don't support Australia. We support the best one. The best team to win. Yes, dear ma'am, because you want to see people winning in life. And that is why you are into the field of psychology as a counselor, as a mentor, as a guide, as a graphologist as well. You know, all of this, you into that, wanting to give your very best. Ma'am, may I know who is the inspiration behind all of this? You have done so many things and you have, you know, accomplished so many things till date. I, in school and college also, you were the topper as I've gone through your profile. You've been topping in your studies as well. Who is the inspiration behind all of this? The true inspiration for me is the goodness I see in each and every human being that I meet. This world is still a good place. In fact, a better place to live than ever before. So goodness that I see, in spite of people having their own sufferings, still they act good, they think good, and they feel good. That's my real inspiration. How, what a wonderful way to put that, ma'am. And look at the world in a very positive way. We have people always sharing the negative that the world is not good. There is lots of wars. But you say the world is still very beautiful in your eyes. That's really nice. And you feel that everybody has something good within them. And all of you of them have been an inspiration to you. In fact, you're a great inspiration to us. And to me, when I was going through your profile and the, the moment you connected with me, there's a lot of warmth, as I earlier mentioned at the start. Put a warmth, a positive connection immediately. There are some people quite rude when they had a text or call. When I connected with you, there was a lovely warmth there within you. So I guess what you shared now, you see good in everybody. Yes. Mm -hmm. And you've understood them that they may be going through some pain or trouble or whatever, but yet they are connecting with you in a positive way because you are positive yourself. And that's how the energy, you know, combines together the positive energy. Beautiful now. Very nice. Hats off to you for that beautiful answer. Yeah. Andrea, we say, see, the word is mankind. See the word, how beautifully somebody has worded. It's mankind. Man is always kind. There is an innate element of goodness in each and every one of us. So what's the difference? You have a choice to pick what you want. So let's pick what's really good for us. What's really the best for us? Not just for us, but for the people around us. And that's going to be really, really wonderful. Beautiful, ma'am. I like the way you focused on this word, mankind. Man has to be kind to everyone and live a peaceful life. I, it didn't strike me all these days. Just now, when you said mankind, then I focused on that word. Yes, mankind. Yes, you have to be kind to one and all. And only then you can thrive and succeed in this world, dear friends. Dear ma'am, we would like to know how was your childhood? How were you as a kid? You were, you were studious, all I could say. And apart from being studious, a studious kid, what else could you say about yourself? Uh, Andrea, my birth order, I'm the eldest. So any eldest child, if you see, that eldest child 
has to be responsible. So I am culturally conditioned to be a very, very responsible child. 50% to the genes and 50% to my nature, the environment that made me to be what I am today. So I was all about studies and I was all about taking care of my siblings and I was all about my family. And in a way, I enjoyed that as well. You're given the responsibilities and you roll it out and you get a star for that. That star is even more a motivator for you to act out better. So it's been a cool life for me. Any favorite childhood incident you remember? Whenever I think of my childhood, it is the bond I always shared with my siblings. My siblings always saw me not as a her as their elder sister, but rather more as a mom. They even tell me that today to me. So when they share that warmth with me, I really feel so good about it. And I was all the time like the mother hen spreading her feathers. Uh, for the, I'm sorry, spreading her wings for the chickens. You see, that's how I was always protecting them. Sometimes I overprotected. I know that, but I didn't have the boundaries then. Anytime, my childhood, immediately my siblings and how we shared the bond. We used to share things. We went to the same school. We sat together for the lunch. So you ask me childhood, it's the special bond I had with my siblings. Oh, nice one. You remind me of my elder sister. Yes, dear. Yes, friends. This is really nice to have a bonding with the siblings and continue that beautiful bonding from childhood into adulthood and to our you know senior age when we are into that so siblings are our strength and weakness as well sometimes you said i overprotected them but that is the love you had for them the care you had you know you protected them in that way beautiful dear dear ma'am you read a lot of books i'm sure would you like to name a few books with us today on this platform that yes this book could bring a change in your life yes of course I want to recommend the book, The Choice, the book written by Dr. Edith Egger. And I think we all can read that book. And uh, Viktor Frankl's book, Man's Search for Freedom. That is another book I would recommend. And I don't want to spill the beans about what the book is all about. I want the reader to go get the book, read and share your views with me. How you find that book. Oh, great. That's really nice. Yeah. Yes, dear. Dear ma'am, how would you want to be remembered in this world and why should people remember you? Uh, whether people want to remember me or not is their choice. But then I want to leave my footprints as a person who is very energetic, enthusiastic and full love for her fellow human beings. Beautiful. Ma'am, I want to ask you this question very personally. How did you feel when you were declared as, you know, the gold medalist? How did you feel? Um, I love learning. So I am more of a process-oriented person. So all the out outcome I received so far was only an unexpected bonus for me. So when I was told you received the gold medal, honestly, Andre, I should tell you, I didn't know how to react or respond. It was like, oh, gold medal, okay, fine. That, that's the only thing. But that was when I received the message. But it was Mr. Uh, uh, governor who gave me that medal. And when I went there, and you, you get the attention right. You are made to sit in the VIP cabin, and you are given a lot of protection and attention, and you are given instructions, so you have to go like this, like that. And I was like, oh, this is kind of super cool. That's nice. So that happiness I felt, yes. And then I was also having plans. Maybe one day I should get a medal from Prime Minister of India as well. Yes, dear. And we wish that you get one medal. Did you get one? Did you get it from the Prime Minister or you intend to get one? You have not, yet. not yet. We wish you. We wish Thanks. you. Thank you. Thank you. We wish you get one because you're one person who's focusing on the younger generation. I love the way you have taken all these courses with regard to children, you know, wanting them to have the best in life. So you have trained yourself, certified yourself from the right places and gained knowledge to spread it across the uh, society, especially with parents and students and children. Dear ma'am, and we wish you that you uh, get, you know, be 
awarded and rewarded and felicitated by the Prime Minister of our country. And again, come back to International Fab Talks and share that special moment. Yes, dear? Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Thank yeah. you, thank you. Dear ma'am, the next question. Have you been on a holiday? Because you're always into studies. You're always into contributing more to the society. You, you know, you give more of yourself. Have you taken some time off for yourself and gone on, gone on a holiday? And if yes, your favorite holiday destination. And if no, where would you love to go if you get a chance? Actually, Andrea, this question you asked me and I have to really think because I'm not a kind of person who would always feel I have to take some time off from what I'm doing. So whatever I do, I do it with a lot of passion, a lot of love and a lot of interest. So it has, no, it has never struck to me that I have to take a leap from what I'm doing or I should say I have to take a break. But my, plan, my family thinks for me, they plan the holidays, they take me for trips and I go there wherever I don't have any specific place to go because for me, all places are worth living and all people are worth connecting. Wherever I go, I can connect with anybody instantly because you have the you take the energy from them and you give your energy and there is an instant vibe. You see, I was talking about mankind a few minutes before and see how you, you proved, Andrea, you proved that you want me to get a, a gold medal or some medal and you want me back in your factor. Isn't this a wonderful proof that man is always kind because I am not looking anything a great or I don't expect anything in return for me because I have always been granted the love the care the power the courage that I need I go anywhere wherever I go that's my holiday destination whether it's my next door neighbor or whether it's to my hometown or whether it's to my in last place Every place is my holiday destination because for me, the place what you have in your mind is more important than where you get yourself connected physically. This is my philosophy of life. So honestly, if you ask me which is your favorite destination, I would say where I am currently now. No. Ma'am, thank you for this wonderful answer. You know, you said here, your mind is the beautiful space. So there you have to have, be a happier year you hear happiness is here no matter where you are which place you are it is how you connect to that place you have that positive thought that every place i go i find something positive i i see people in a very positive way yes that's really one you have a lot of optimism ma'am and i'm really emotional now emotional or maybe i'm lost for words i'm speechless because you finding everything around you to be positive everything around you to be nice because you see most of us we see something negative we are ready to take, take the negatives first then the positives but you say every place is really a wonderful place for us and you should be happier in your mind so then every place will be good no matter my neighbor my in-laws my village i mean you my hometown you said and even at present this moment condo i really like that and I, it's a big takeaway for me because sometimes I grudge. Sometimes I'm like, you know, moody or maybe you say cranky or you could say like expecting a little more. But I get to learn from you today to be happy and to accept things and to look at all the positives than to look at the negatives. It's a big, it's a big takeaway, man. Thank you. You have such humanitarian feelings towards all, you know, that positive feeling. Like you could say... Love is the universal language and you believe in being kind to everyone around you. Yes, dear. Wonderful. Now, I'd like to ask you this personal question. What is that one thing that you love about yourself? This is Nagapriya. I love myself because this is me. I, I have this unique quality. It's the inner core quality of me. That I cherish something about myself is my nakedness. We all have distortions. We all have errors in thinking. But at one time, I found that it's of no use to fake myself. No need to wear any mask. I can be myself. I can make myself very, very naked, not covering myself with any bias or distortions. I have a comfort with myself to look at myself, to feel at myself and to, to think about myself as myself. I think 
I'm very fortunate to have found me that way. I didn't have it earlier, but I worked to become one like that. My nakedness, I feel I like the best about me. Yes, dear. To be very honest with yourself, to be honest with your thoughts. We all commit mistakes, you said. We all like have this distorted, uh, distortion, you said. You know, the thought process. Sometimes we all go through that. But understanding yourself and you know, giving your best without a mask. I love the word mask. I don't want to mask myself. I just want to be the true me. To accept myself as I am and to portray that to the universe in all honesty. Wonderful. Yes, dear. Dear ma'am, do you think winning a lottery or working a perfect job or a good job, which one would you think is the best? What would you prioritize? Winning a lottery, I have my subjective interpretation of this. In the form of lottery, if you give me a school to be taken care of, filled with children, I'd prefer that. As long as the lottery is not money, which doesn't motivate me anything anymore. But if it is something like my passion, I find it as a lottery. Maybe some good soul like you understands me. Ma'am, you have won a lottery where I'm running a school and you come and be the contributor there. I would love to come there, Andrea. Great. <laughs> Wonderful. Yeah. That's really nice. What a way to get that answer to this question. I've had different answers, but this is a unique answer. I'd love someone to invite me to their school. That would be the biggest lottery, connecting with the children sharing my expertise with them, guiding them, molding them. Yes, dear, that's beautiful. And I wish all the managements out there listen to this video and this moment that this would be a lottery for our special celebrity. It's not the money. It is her time and connection with the students. And yes, you could respect that and invite ma'am to your school. I wish I had a school and I would have invited you every week, ma'am, to have a session or maybe every day to have at least one session, maybe of 10 minutes or 20 minutes with each with the students. Or maybe at one go or maybe at, you know, in each class, it depends on your availability. But yes, I would really appreciate this if I was a principal and had a school of my own. And I wish I have one so that I could have a person like you who's all out there to be there for the benefit of students. Because I think you really want to focus on the younger generation, as I mentioned earlier. Let me ask you this question. Why is it so much you are into this helping the children out? Why do you love? And you say, if it's not money, it's connecting with the children. What makes you say that, ma'am? Uh, here, I want to register one strong uh, perspective that I carry. When we work with children, we think we are helping them. We become an expert and we share our expertise with them. For me, it's the other way around. When I have an alliance with my kids, I learn so much from them. I have nothing to teach them. I have nothing to transfer across to them. As Swami Vivekananda rightly said, education is the manifestation of perfection which is already within. Every child has an innate intelligence and that is really wonderful. So I associate with the child all the time to understand the child better so that how I can help myself as well as my tree, tribe, my peer group my age people and people ahead of me, how to make them understand, oh, my dear friends, the universe has not created you to teach them, rather to learn from them. A curious pair of ears and a curious pair of eyes is all you need all the time to connect with the child so that you understand you are learning so much from that wonderful creature. Very true, very true. Yes, dear. Very true. So as you are explaining, so I'm just trying to create a mental picture like how you're coordinating with the students, how you're co coordinating with the little ones, how they are coming up to you and sharing something, how they are listening to you, how you're learning from them. I just, as you were sharing, I was just forming a nice mental picture in my mind and I was lost there and I came back once you ended it. That's wonderful. That's really nice. Belonging to the academic sector, that is really very true. We learn a lot from children now. A lot. We get to know ourselves better when we are amidst children. Are we truthful? Are we honest? Yes. Yes, dear. Dear ma'am, any favorite movie? Yes. That is from Tamil. Uh, Vasul Raja MBBS. Hindi it came as Munaba MBBS. In Tamil it is Vasul Raja MBBS. My all-time favorite is that movie. 
and, and who is the hero of that? Who have who are the main characters? Hero is of course Kamal. Kamal Hassan. Kamal Hassan. Okay. Kamal is Hassan. is it the same version of Munna by MBBS? Is that the same thing? Exactly the same, dear. Exactly the same. But in Tamil, we had Kamal Hassan doing the lead role, and we had Sneha, actress Sneha, and we had Prakash Raj G for that. Yeah, dear. The, yes, so that yes. was a cool movie. I really enjoyed that. And a lot of subtleties and philosophies of life explained in a very simple way. You just need to have that understanding to fish what you want from that movie. Yes, dear. I'm going to, I watched it in Hindi, but I'm going to watch it in Tamil as well. Because I love Kamal Hassan, the way he acts. Yes, dear. Yes, ma'am. Dear ma'am, when you were in school or in college, did you take part in sports and games? And if yes, what were they? I don't know why my brain didn't work in sports. I love to watch. That's because my family, all three, I have a son, daughter, along with my husband, they all three of them, they love sports. They play sports. They watch cricket, tennis, football, basketball, everything. And they play as well. So... Passively, I was attracted to that. Otherwise, I was a normal kid running, falling, skipping, hopping. Those were the only athletic activities that I've done in my life all, all the time. That's really nice. Thank you for sharing. Skipping, hopping. We all did that when we were youngsters, right? And that was really wonderful. Now we don't find them doing all of that. I, I don't find it in the cities. Yes, dear. Dear ma'am, what is that one change you would love to bring in the world? The one change that I always want in this world is our sensitivity towards understanding children. Not just in words, but in actions as well. We are not sensitive towards the needs of our children, but we all are the examples of the living hypocrites. We can talk about policies, we can talk about formulations, organizations, which work for the children, but are we really acting to the sensitivities of the children? It's a hundred million quest dollar question for me. So I want an awareness on that, that we can be a bit more sensitive towards the inner needs of a child. Very true, ma'am. What you have shared is very true. Ma'am, may we get to know about what work are you into and how do you go about your work and how, how does it work for you and how are people benefiting from the work that you're offering, uh, I mean, the services that you're uh, rendering, ma'am? Would you like to speak on that? Yeah, a bit. Yes, dear. Yeah, I'm a counselor and a psychologist. I am also a psychotherapist. My plan is to help people find their own strengths. We are under the carpet most of the time thinking that I am not having certain skills or abilities and we are sometimes distorted and limited with our own thoughts, feelings and behavior and we succumb to the normal struggles of life. So I invite people and I make them understand you have the innate strength and the resilience to come back on track. It doesn't matter whether you fall or not. But what really matters is whether you have the ability to get up and go forward. So I generally do intense counseling for children, for teens, for adolescents and for adults. And they come to me for various issues. It can be domestic. It can be personal. It can be environmental. It can be situational. That is in a various spectrum. And I do intense uh, workshops as well, online and offline. And I love to connect with people. They think that they come to me, they take my guidance or counseling or anything that you can say, and they become better in their lives. I would never agree with that. When they come to me, they find their own strength, which they keep in the dark. So light is shown on that. And they pick up that and they walk forward with a lot more strength and courage. Yes, dear. So you're the guiding light, you know, showing them the light at the end of the tunnel that yes, your life still matters. Yes, live uh, live it well. 
you're, you, you're making them identify their strengths, empowering them to know who they are, to self-introspect. Yes. Exactly. Uh, we, we are just facilitating them. Lord Buddha says, you are your own light. And what are we doing here? We are just, when they feel that they are exhausted with their resources, that's because of the distortions that they carry, all the biases that they have. You're just there. And you, because I am away from their problem. So I can have a 360 degree angle to view at them. They are just near the mountain. They are not on the summit. But just with little, little guidance, you can just push them to the summit. It, it takes only that much effort. But 99% journey is theirs. So I can't take the credit. It's only their efforts, their willingness, their self-efficacy to find their own light. And finally, they find their light as well. That's really nice, ma'am, for being the guide and mentor. And of course, the guru as well. You know, the guru just shows them the path. And the journey is, you know, the, the followers or the disciples have to go on that journey. So he just leads the way and shows them. That's really nice to make people aware that the strength lies hidden in you. 99% is, is within you. It's just 1%. We just give you that push, right? That's beautiful. Yeah. And people think that with that one push, they reach the summit. No, that's not right. 99% is your effort. And I didn't create the path. You created the path. You walked there. So as you were about to end the line, you forgot all that 99% efforts that you took. Wow. So that's what I'm making them to see on their own. Just reflect on your journey. Reflect on your pro process and process and process. See where you're standing now. And it's like, oh, wow. They get the aha moment. That's what we do. Great. Wonderful, ma'am. As you said, Lord Buddha said, the light is within you. Yes, that's wonderful. Thanks for that beautiful sharing, ma'am. Dear ma'am, would you be able to differentiate for all of us over here and our virtual audience as well, the difference between smart work and hard work from your experience and expertise? I have a different view to look at hard work and smart work. Whether it is hard or smart, you need efforts. Work can be efficient. When you combine your hard work and smart work, and for you to work, you need efforts. And it is your subjective discretion that you put there, whether you want to do a hard work there or a smart work there. For example, if you want to prepare a feast for a group of 10 people, and if you have only one hour time, there, you can use your general knowledge and from the hard work that you have invested for so many years, you can make a smart plan and just execute the process. Hard work and smart work, according to me, is, depends on only the time factor and also how your brain works to the current situation. Otherwise, I feel your life is a combination of both. And I take inspiration from Mother Nature. Mother Nature, whenever it has to work hard, it works hard. And whenever it has to work smart, yes, it works. So let, let's get inspiration from Mother Nature. You have to wait at least for seven years to taste the mangoes. If you sow the seed. Mother work, Nature is working hard. But at once it becomes a very strong tree. And it never stops giving those fruits for a certain period of time because it works smart. All the flowers blooming at the same time, becoming the unripe mango and the very ripe and tasty mangoes. You get the inspiration from there and you see when you have to work hard and when you have to work smart. It's up to left to your own discretion. The superb example of Mother Nature, the mango tree and how... You put that so simple, you know, you've given a simple example, but yet it holds a lot of wisdom in that. You know, hard work and smart work. It's left up to you how to deal with that. Very nice, ma'am. Thank you so much. And you said learn from Mother Nature. That's really great. Dear ma'am, any dream projects for the future? I actually don't have big projects. I would say that. I, I, honestly speaking, and I'm not a visionary. I don't have all those things in mind. What I do always is I keep myself ready 
for the universe to utilize me i add on to my values i upskill myself and i keep ready because i believe in collective unconscious that's by carl jung and i believe in that concept and i also experience that as i gather something as i strengthen myself there is a new need for me to go and take up certain roles and go and just act on that so things keep coming my way so i, I should say that I, i may be a fortunate person or i am a very lucky person any adjective or adverb that it can be used there appropriately but this world is such a nice world it has been continuously utilizing my knowledge for its best purpose that's all i would like to say thank you ma'am thank you for sharing all of that that's really very nice thank you you're so i i met i think the first person on this platform to be so positive about everything around her yes dear in the morning in fact i had two interviews where they had a very bad experience in life both of them but here i find someone who is looking at the world in a very positive way who's accepting everything who's ready to you know give her best to out to the world and allow the world to see the best in themselves you know the people in the world to see the best like i think there's something unique about you people have to learn to live the way you are looking at life because most of them yeah i've been through this bad phase and so they are stuck in the bad phase they're not able to come out of it you know it's it's time that we all come out of the bad phase that we were into and accept that life is like this you could better it in your own way you could find the light within you yes so i see a lot of positive vibes from you a lot of positive energy that you're sharing today on the stage at this moment dear ma'am is there any plans in your mind that yes i retire at so and so age and then i just relax is there something like that retirement is for people who work retirement is definitely not for people who live i live my life so no retirement for what a way to answer such a brilliant way with lots of wisdom would you like to repeat that please yeah yes dear you want andrea i i take the pleasure uh, uh, retirement is for people who work not for people who live so, i live my life so for me no retirement brilliant brilliant i really like this answer and that's a big take away now for me so i think of oh i will retire after so and so time i will just relax but the way you put that now you shared that with us and that's really beautiful a big take away ma'am thank you very much in fact all of us should go by this guideline you know yes dear dear ma'am may i know who are your best friends who been with you through thick and thin there are so many good people who really wanted me to see where i am today that starts from my parents and all my teachers all the best teachers in this world were my teachers and my uh, at this juncture i would like to thank all those teachers who always so spoke about so many positive things about me and they are my friends even today my professor is 78 years young and before i go for any program i take her wishes so she is one of my best friends even yesterday i had a nice program and before go attending the program i made a call to her and the minute i said oh nagapriya where are you going today take my wishes across all ages i have too many to count friends who have always been thinking good things great things best things for me and not to forget my best friend is myself as well and my children my family and above all if i have to say everything in one word this wonderful universe is my best friend thank you for saying that i wanted to include myself but when you said the last thing the entire universe is my best friend i'm included in that <laughs> thank you <laughs> thank you dear and he said i am my own best friend as well that's really nice wonderful ma'am dear ma'am would you like to give an a, a suggestion there are many youngsters out there who are not concentrating on saving for their future we've seen several senior citizens in a very pathetic state uh, state even now if as we are talking there may be somebody who has nothing with them no not a single penny in their pocket they've been utilizing it everything for their children 
But now the same children have abandoned them and most of them are in the senior citizen homes or abandoned just like that on the roads on in public spaces. Now the question here is, should the youngsters, as you deal with children, adolescents, the youth, etc., should they start savings, saving from day one? They have received their earnings, the first earnings, should they start saving for that for emergencies and of course for the retirement? Uh, this is a question for the first time somebody is asking this question to me, Andrea. Um, I would say you have to save money, not because this money is going to help you in your future, but you have to make that as a habit. Because by saving money, you are also enriching yourself. It is very easy to spend something you have. But it is very challenging to create something for you. So you can just, you have created your resources and make sure you can save them as well. And tomorrow, for better reasons, you can utilize them from your own personal bank account. And by PBA, I'm talking about your brain. Beautiful. Excellent. Thank you for sharing that. What a way to share that. Very thoughtful. You have a lot of wisdom. A lot of wisdom to share. Dear ma'am, what makes you smile often? Your smile. See, smile is very, very, very contagious. We just look at a child. This child is just staring at you. Because the child is so small, it cannot understand you. That's what you think. You just smile at the child, no? Don't worry about what the child is to do. You just do your work. You keep smiling. You just keep smiling. The child is going to smile you back. A smile is an innate ingredient of every human being. And it costs nothing to form a C curve on your face. It makes you feel good. Any nice deed that I notice makes me smile. Because it increases my trust on my fellow human being. It strengthens my views about life. It strengthens my values. Yes, dear. Thank you, ma'am. Thanks for sharing. Is there any weakness for chocolates, ice creams, uh, maybe pizzas, or maybe some type of a junk food? Do you have any? If, when you see it, you want to eat it. Do you have something like that? Good, Sandria. I would say uh, I need not see. It's enough for me to think. Oh, and not see. If I think of sweets, the traditional sweets, the homemade sweets, I can skip my breakfast, lunch and dinner and I can just thrive on sweets all three times. So I have the craziness for sweets. I love sweets. See, as I'm talking to you, I'm salivating. now. So now once this is over, you have to send me a big box of sweets. Yeah, definitely. How sweet. <laughs> yes, dear. <laughs> definitely, ma'am. What a way to share that, you know. So, so I, is it like only sweets that you like or maybe some hot stuff, like you could say some spicy stuff, like murkus and samosas? Is it only sweets? No, 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 no. No, nothing to categorize like that because we should not practice that untouchability without with all those stuff, isn't it? I love everything. I love everything and the minute I think of them, you know, there is a, a neuronal firing and a dance in my brain. Now, as I'm talking to you, I'm just having plans. Where should I go in the evening to have all those junk? And you know, Andrea, the reality is whatever is not so healthy for your body, you always crave for that and I'm no exception. Very true, very true. Very honest on that. Yes, ma'am, very true. <laughs> yes, dear. Dear ma'am, from where do you derive your strength to continue this journey called life? As I always say from Mother Nature and this universe, I have an unshakable trust and belief on my fellow human beings. We have wars around us. We have conflicts. We have fights. But that is only the tip of an iceberg. You I remember you were talking about the social experiments I wrote about. I constantly involve in doing some social experiments. Can I share one? Yes, please, ma'am. Most welcome. Yeah. I take public transports for travel. 
just to connect with people sometimes i don't take money i don't i don't have even a single penny with me i just board a bus and to an old lady who standing next to me i will request her party that's how we address no old people in tamil party look i forgot my purse can you get me a ticket she will be willingly taking that for me doing that for me and she takes it for me and before the stop comes she will caution me oh child your stop is going to come do you know where to get down and specifically i'll make sure that i am standing next to her and as soon as the stop comes if it is her stop to get down also she comes out of the bus and she takes me also with her as well and there was one this beautiful incident where the party who came down she gave me 100 rupees that she had with her i'm sure that must have taken quite a lot of efforts for her to get that 100 rupee note but she gave it to me she told you look like a lost child so you can have this for your breakfast and lunch this is all i have you tell me now how is this universe isn't this a wonderful place and isn't this the wonderful time to live your life and what i did i just took that 100 rupee from her i didn't want to hurt her and then but i collected information about her and after a week i reached her destination and i gave her a surprise and i thought i will just give her something so i had made some sweets at home and i took it to her and she relished it and she told hope this is not for the 100 rupee that i gave you you are giving it back no i told the 100 rupee note that you gave nothing can compensate in return for what you did this is the love and respect that i have so this is the hope this is the trust this is the love i've been constantly receiving from my fellow human Thank you, ma'am. Wonderful sharing, ma'am. That was a beautiful experience which you shared, and again, this made me go on a picture. I really created that mental picture. The way you were in the bus, standing very close to her, then you got down, and then again you searched. She gave you a hundred rupees in your hand, all of that, and then you went back and gave back that respect and value for what she had done. You know, the good deed towards you. That's really nice. I mean, I could I could just. create a picture in my mind you know i just visualize all of that very nice in fact this is how we have to look at the world in a very positive way there are in fact ma'am i would like to add one uh, sentence here there are more good people in the world than the negative ones when we think oh life is all negative it's bad it's harsh it's actually not true as you said there are lots of good people out there in the world lots and lots of yes dear i agree with you on that and in fact even i when i have been traveling across india and across you know i have been to the us and i have come back different states in us i have seen many people who i don't know complete strangers guiding me helping me in the right way no one taking advantage or you know sending me in the right you know whichever zone you have to go and get your luggage and whatever it could be i i really feel blessed i could see the positivity in them and nobody said no on my face they said maybe not i maybe they could help you so that's really very nice yes dear Dear ma'am, is there anything that scares you? Honestly, no, Andrea. Nothing scares me. My only fear is we should not stop letting our children be children. we should not stop that we all have a child inside us to celebrate so that's my fear let's our let's let our children to be children very true ma'am and most of us don't do that you no know, most of the parents they want their children to grow up fast to mature you no know, think in a higher level and do things at their you know level you know most of the parents want them to do what they did not do they want them to be that they want to kill their childhood i get what you're trying to put out there ma'am let the child live his childhood in a very happy way let them enjoy and experience childhood in a very 
efficient way or maybe in the best possible way. That's very nice. Because childhood is only once. It never You can never get back your childhood again. So let it be a beautiful experience. Let children live their childhood. Let them be children. What a beautiful way to share. You really are very thoughtful, ma'am. You are uh, somewhat like a philosopher, a great thinker. You have beautiful views. That's really nice. It's making me think and ponder. Like, you know, how deep your thoughts are. And how well you're presenting it across the stage. That's really nice. And you have good clarity of what you're sharing as well. Yes, dear. Dear ma'am, have you ever found yourself be being angry? Always. Short temper is my weakness as well. I just lose my fuse quickly. But then I worked hard to bring in the awareness and then worked even more harder to get into the zone of action. Now I'm kind of okay. I just got a hold of better emotional regulation, I could say. How oh, honest on that. That's really nice. Yes, dear. Even I sometimes I'm angry for a moment. Then again, I cool down again. And maybe sometimes it's my mistake. And I'm angry because something is wrong and that's my mistake itself. And once I know, oh my God, that is my mistake and I have to just keep quiet. I just calm down immediately. <laughs> yes, dear. Dear ma'am. The next question, if you weren't a counsellor, if you weren't a psychologist, if you weren't a mentor, etc., what would you have been? I, I don't think I can think of anything else, Andrea. Honestly speaking, I really don't know. Maybe a teacher? I yes, don't dear. I really don't know. Yes, dear. A teacher. In fact, you are really a great teacher as well. Because the way you speak, the way you connect. And you said, I would love to have a lottery to spend time with children, to learn from them and for them to experience my presence. That's really nice. You're already a great teacher. Yes, dear. All in one. You're a healer. In fact, I could say you're a great healer. If people be surrounded with you, they start to love life from all the negativity. They are suffering from depression, anxiety. If they spend some time with you, connect with you, I'm sure they will want to love and live their whole life and love the universe. Ma'am, if anybody would like to get connected with you, how do they connect with you? Through WhatsApp, my phone number. And they can connect with me through my mail ID as well. And otherwise, I am not in any of this uh, social media, Andrea. I'm only in Facebook and I'm available in Facebook. That's the way you connect with me. Yes, dear. I would love all the youngsters out there to be connected with you to understand the positivity of life, you know, and to live life completely, accept life and find people, find your tribe, find people who really care for you. The world is really beautiful out there. So I would love many of the people across your state, across Tamil Nadu, from all the states of India, in fact, across the world, everyone connect with you and get to know how to live life, how to look for the positives in others. How to look for the best in others, not the negatives. In fact, I am reminded of Mahatma Gandhiji. One incident I've read somewhere in one of the books. He is such a person. If you take a criminal in front of him and make him stand in front of Mahatma Gandhiji, he would only look at the good that the person has. He will not be interested in what he has been doing if he has a criminal past. He says every person has some good in, in him or her. And so he would look and talk to them in that with that feeling that yes, this person is very good. And Look at the positive side. So that's real. I see a bit of Mahatma Gandhi in you. Because I've read his thoughts. Because I've read it. You could also just check out on uh, Google. like, And you can see if I'm, what I'm sharing today is true. It, 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 there was an incident like this. Where he sh looked even at. You know even a criminal. If you brought front of him. He would only aspire to look at the good in that person. So I think all of us should learn that. And you have it with you. So you're a bit of. The Mahatma in, in you, you have that. That's really nice. Oh, and yes. that's a, that's a too, too big a, big a thing for me. Yeah. But if you have some of the those type of values, those type of thoughts, look of only wanting to look at the good in others. So definitely you share that beautiful zone where he belongs to, you know, creating positivity, looking at the good in everyone. And in fact, he believed in non-violence. He didn't want to hurt anyone. Yes. 
So you're somewhere from that zone, I feel, want, loving everything, having that positive feeling towards everyone, looking at the world in a, in a, in a, in a, in a very accepting way. Sometimes you all will, why is this life? If you once I, if you open my diary, one of the diaries, I might have been, I don't want this life. No, I don't want to live. What is this? And many times I've written, if anybody opens, they will just check and see one or two pages and say, yeah, this one has been very negative and pessimistic. But here, when I met you, so I feel that yes, life is beautiful and it has to be lived to the fullest. Wonderful. And today you made me open up and tell me about my diary also now. See, I've never revealed that on this platform. Sometimes when I'm off my head, like you know, earlier, I used to just take down, say, what life is this? I'm not interested in living. So that means I've been through a lot of bad things that I need to search for positivity, optimism. And so if, if people connect with you, definitely they will start living in a very perfect zone, you know, in a, a very optimistic way of life, looking at life. Wonderful. Yes, dear, you made me share off also something. I shared it off. Like, I, like I'm giving my interview to you as well. So yes, it's just an open talk where we get to know each other. You know about me and I know about you. Yes, dear. Ma'am, your favorite color? Blue. Why, ma'am? Blue is infinity. Wow. Goodness of mankind is infinity. Universe is infinity. Love is infinity. Great. Your subject in school, which you really loved a lot? I always love literature, science. Literature and science. Yes, dear. Is there any message you'd like to give the youngsters? Not just for, my, for all of us. Just even for myself. Life is a big bundle of small things. And power is needed only to do destructive things. Otherwise, love is enough. That's something I personally believe and act upon. The person who's right in front of you, he may not know how to express his love, but he still has love. But you can have the discretion of showing your love to him. It's never about who's in front of you. It's always about who you are. Yes, dear. Thank you for sharing that. Dear ma'am, you would like to share a favorite quote or a proverb? Echo. I would say a line again and again. Love is the song of life. Love is the song of life. Very true. And every life is worth living. Yes, I guess that's the first line on your profile, right? Yes. yes. Would you repeat that for us, please? Every life is worth living. Every life is worth living. Very true. Sometimes we think, why this person is alive? Let this person... Am I right? Sometimes we think, why am I alive? Why this person is alive? But when you say, every life is worth living. Great. No. Dear ma'am, do you have pets at home? No. Don't like. Uh, but if you give me a chance to call my children as my pets, yes, I have two pets in that way, Andrea. How sweet. And when you say Andrea, it's only my mother who used to pronounce my name so correctly. And the way you say Andrea, so I'm reminded of my mother. She also says Andrea, she used to say that. You have that. Yes, dear. <laughs> Thanks to you. That's really nice. Dear ma'am, you've accomplished so many things. You've studied different uh, you know, courses, you've been certified in different ways, in different fields. What is your proudest accomplishment? You've been a gold medalist, you've been the topper of the university. How did, uh, I mean, among all of that, your proudest achievement? Was it walking up the stage uh, to receive it from the governor? Was it that? My proudest accomplishment is both my children have a special space and bonding towards me. And I have given them such a wonderful space. This is the comment I received from them. That without any fear, inhibition, limitation or hesitation, they can empty themselves to me. And when they endorsed that on several occasions, 
and when they acted out, I feel that is my biggest accomplishment. Yes, dear. you're not only a great mentor, you're a great mother as well. Wonderful. Getting that from our own children is really a blessing. Yes, dear. Dear ma'am, I have a cup in my hand. How would you look at this cup? Is it half full, half empty? Is it full to the brim or overflowing for you? Uh, the cup you are holding, according to me, is the nicest cup that you can hold for yourself. The cup knows what it has to give you. But my question is, do we have the insight to look at the cup in the way? Looking to see, oh, I have all the elements. Let's not worry about whether it's half full or half empty. Am I satisfied with what is in my cup? There you find your purpose, meaning, joy, harmony, everything in your life. Thank you. Thank you for the beautiful answer. Thank you. Very thought provoking. huh? You've answered it and like you've given me food for thought. Now I have to think about all of oh, how ma'am has put it so well and molded that answer so nicely. Because either most of them will say it's half empty or half full. Some say it's full. Some say it's overflowing. But the way you put that, it, it's like food for thought and makes me ponder over it. That's really nice. Dear ma'am, how many languages are you conversant in? I can speak and write Tamil, English, Hindi, Telugu. हिंदी भी आती है बढ़िया बढ़िया बहुत आती है तो हो जाए गाना हिंदी में हो जाए ना जी कौन सा गाना आपकी आवाज तो बहुत बीती है अंजिया जी मेरा तो आ, सुन के तो देखिए ना जी बिफोर दैट फ्रॉम वेर डिड यू लर्न हिंदी बिकॉज यू बिलोंग टू तमिलनाडु कोयम्बटूर and you've learned Hindi, then most of the people I've met from Tamil Nadu, they hardly know much of Hindi. But you say, Badia, you said, that's wonderful. Yes, dear. How, how come you learned Hindi? My mother, thanks to my mother. So her, with her assistance and with her cooperation, I would say, I did my main Hindi as well. Oh, great. Huh. So, Shurua, she was like, okay, uh, my daughter, if she can learn Hindi, it will be one additional qualification for her. I'm like, okay, maa to chaati hai na, kya dikkat ho jayega, amma ke saath padna to, yeah, it's cool, no? So we were actually classmates, my mom and me, we were classmates and we studied together. So you know that Dakshin Bharat Hindi Sabha ka. Yes. Those plans, I did it. And after that, I did an MA in Hindi as well. I just love Hindi and my all-time favorite is Kabir, Sant Kabir. Wherever I go, I pick Kabir and legally steal from him. And I would say in such a way, like people like you listen to me and they say, wow, kitna badia bolti hai na? I am like, thank you Kabir ji, ji for all your wisdom and giving me that permission to steal from me, from you also. And I can blow my own hands. And uh, they go, Andrea ji, Kabir ne kya bola? See. Ji, ji. <laughs> I'm really uh, surprised that you have such a good command over Hindi as well. Great, ma'am. Wonderful. Thank you. So, do Hindi in Hindi? Your favorite song? You don't have to listen to it. My favorite song. Chura liya hai tumne jo dil ko Nazar nahi chura na sanam Badal ke meri e zind gaani this is enough, Andrea. I've never sung anywhere in my life. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for sharing your uh, song today with us. And that's a beautiful song. Wonderfully sang. You have a lovely voice and you've really done justice to that song. Yes, dear. <laughs> Would you like to try one in Tamil as well? Uh, Tamil. Um, which is my... There are too many favorite songs in Tamil, you know. Can you pick a song for me? I can try. Whether I can sing. Maybe uh, it's always this request from my side. From the film Roja. And the song? Chini Chini Asha. Chinna Chinna Ase. I think it's like that. I'm just thinking. Whether I know the lyrics properly. Or any song of your choice, dear. Yeah. Any song. No, it's not coming to my memory. Because mm -hmm. I am an ardent fan of SPB. 
he was also a great singer you know very if you listen to his songs and you're just immersed into that like you start living the song like you start it will just flow from top to down you just feel that it's into your being yes 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 and when you listen to his songs you will feel as if that is how the world is yes he creates a mood and after listening to him you feel that is the mood that's the power he has on emotions and moods he creates it so well so well so well very nice you actually took me on a nostalgic drive yes yeah would you like to try a song in tamil or should we wait towards the end maybe yeah maybe maybe i should pick up the lyrics you see yes and because i should not be doing injustice to the poets who have composed that song yes. either we do it properly or we we don't disrespect them yes dear so dear friends we give a minute or two for ma'am to check out the lyrics ma'am you just go ahead and check out your favorite song we'll wait for you dear friends it was a beautiful uh, journey right from the start till now it is a wonderful time to be getting to know a person with such a lot of positive energy to look at the world the way it is and accept the world and wish good for everyone to see the good in everyone you ask me sometimes i see the negatives in many people but here i met somebody today who says let's look at the good and the positive aspects of people around the world the world is a better place you shouldn't think that the world is something that is negative or something that's not good for us and all those people who have the negative tendency and would like to commit suicide or would like to you know sit down in depression and anxiety and pain hatred overcome all of that and start finding those people who really belong to you find your tribe there are many people out in the world who will really be with you and guide you in the right way of course you could also connect with our celebrity she is miss nagapriya sarv uh, sarvanand right ma'am perfect uh, Yes, Sarvanan from Coimbatore, Tamil Nadu. That will really transform your lives. Are you good to go, dear? Yes, ready, Andrea. And mm -hmm. this is an album song. This is by Vivek Mervin, and this song is Orasada. It's called Orasada. And my apologies to all the listeners because that's a wonderful song. And to listen to that song in my voice, it's your fate today, but. friends forgive me for that still i would love to sing so it's like orasada usratta orasada oh i i better not sing andrea because i am not able to do justice to that so we will abandon this mission only because it's a very nice song all the songs are really nice so <laughs> you could just read out the lyrics if at all if i, I wouldn't i wouldn't want to pressurize you you can just read out the lyrics at least two lines you could give it a try ma'am you could give it a try okay yes dear i should not you know okay it it starts like this you can understand tamil andrea yes ma'am a bit a yes. bit okay ore mure enna paathu ore kannil pesu ஒரு முறை என்ன பாத்து ஓர கண்ணில் பேசு நீ நெருங்கி வந்தா காதல் வாசம் என் உசுறு மட்டும் உன்ன பேசும் ஒரு சாத உசுரத்தான் ஒரு காத மனசத்தான் அலசாத என் சட்ட கிழிஞ்சு வெளியே பறக்கும் இதயம் enough andrea <laughs> it's a very nice song you can yes. also listen to this it's a wonderful song i yes. like it thank you for attempting to share that with us you've really done justice you've tried it and that's really good and this is how we all have to take up challenges when we are in difficulties we have to look at the positives and yes ma'am has given her her shot at that song she has been singing that song for us we thank her so much but if you could just tell us what does that mean in just one or two sentences if you could put that it's a love song it's all about how he is expect expressing his romance to his lover yes dear yes yes he is expressing his state of mind when he is in love yes dear 
Thank you, ma'am, for sharing. Thank you. What are the uh, changes that you visualize in the next 50 years? This world is going to be more loving, more acceptable, more harmonious. Positive. Again. Of course. Optimistic. Very you good. You are here. I am here. Yes, dear. Dear ma'am, if you were given an opportunity to live somebody's life, I mean relive somebody's life, and given a time machine to click a button that would take you into the past and you would be able to relive somebody's life, whose life you would love to relive? I honestly would want to think in the brain of the great Sigmund Freud. Wow. Great. Sigmund Freud is really not understood in the way he has to be. That's my perspective about him. And so I would definitely want to have his brain in my skull to just see the world how he saw. Yes. Yes. Dear ma'am, what is that one superpower you would want to have from the universe or the almighty? The power to transform hatred to love. Which can mitigate all our sufferings. Yes. Dear ma'am, do you forgive others easily? Yes or no? Yes, I do. On a scale of 1 to 10, how much would you rate yourself? 8. That's really nice. Dear ma'am, we've come to an end to the main round of the interview. We have a small segment called as the rapid fire round. And we love to have you on many more sessions. I'm going to invite you because I love the positive vibes that you have. And you have spread it today across the International Fab Talks. It's going to be with me. You've given many takeaways. And I've taken more than one hour, I guess, from you. And I'm sorry for that. I'll take another five minutes. A pleasure. Thank you, dear ma'am. So, dear friends, it's time for the rapid fire round to get to know about the likes and dislikes of our celebrity today. She is Miss Nagapriya Sarvanan from Coimbatore, India. So, I stopped because I shouldn't say something wrong. So, I just hold on. Did I get your name right? I shouldn't mix up anyone's name. <laughs> yes, dear. Dear ma'am, a perfect day, a beautiful day in one word. Sorry, I didn't get your question. A perfect day or a beautiful day just in one word. How would you share that? Peace. Peace. Peace? Wonder I was waiting for this answer. I just wanted in one word. Peace. It could be anything, but it should be in one word. But I've been getting a sentence, maybe two sentences. But then when I say, and it is peace and really very true. At the end of the day, nothing matters. It's peace. In my view. And I, and I share that with you. Thank you so much. Yes, dear. Dear ma'am, when you help others, do you expect anything in return? Yes or no? No. City, village, or town? Village. Traveling by land, water, or air gives you happiness? Land. Which season do you like? All. Cakes, chocolates, or ice creams? All. Best flavor, strawberry, chocolate... Uh, vanilla or butterscotch? Actually, none of this, Andrea. Pineapple. Oh, great. Wonderful. Pineapple. I love the way none of this, Andrea. I'm rem reminded of my mom. She was the only one who could pronounce my name. Again, I'm telling this. that She would say that. So when she didn't say Andrea, I'm remember reminded of my mother. Yes, dear. Dear ma'am, are you a great cook? Yes. Your favorite recipe? The sambar. Sambar. Yes, dear. The flavor and fragrance. And this reminds me of um, Abdul Kalamji. He loved the sambar that his mother prepared. You know, he loved the aroma and taste and all that he shared you know, in his book. Wings of Fire, I guess, was his autobiography. Yes, dear. Dear ma'am, the name of your favorite teacher or sir when you were in school? All. How nice to respect everyone. Are you an early bird or a night owl? Early bird, always. Is it salty, sweet, spicy or sour food? Eclectic mixture. Great. Life is all about money, happiness or both? Happiness. 
you consider yourself to be an introvert, an extrovert, or an ambivert? Ambi. When you're alone, ma'am, you're connected to your thoughts. You're alone in a room. There are no gadgets, nobody. You're connected to your thoughts. You can't do anything. We are just connected over here. So where do your thoughts take you? The past, the present, or future? I am disconnected from my thoughts. And may I know how? I have nothing to think. And then how do you spend, spend your time? What will you be doing like? Why should you have to do something to spend your time? Then, then ma'am, how, now suppose if you're nothing, what's what you are doing at that time, like, because this is a unique answer I've got. So I'd like to know how, because I too would like to try that out. You're alone. You're never alone. You are with you. You are with you. You're connected with yourself. Like Just connecting with your thoughts, maybe? No. Just be in a state of connectedness, where you are connected with your senses, you have something going happening inside you and at times you have to disconnect yourself from time and space and get into a space and time of nothingness. Most of the times I do that. I have nothing running in my mind. Be. Just be. Be. Yes. You'll go there soon, Andrea, because you have that thirst to go there. You will go there. You need not connect to any thoughts. Yes, dear. That's one unique answer. I haven't received this answer at all. Wonderful. Thank you. I shall be working on that. Yes, dear. Dear ma'am, you love socializing or me time? Actually, me. Are you a great thinker, a doer or both? Learner. Very smart, huh? On that answer. <laughs> smart answer. <laughs> yes, dear. Dear ma'am, is it experiential learning or theoretical learning? A combination of both in equal proportions. Great. Fresh fruits and salads or fried food? Always fresh fruits and salads. Home cooked food or food ordered from out? Always home cooked. Beach or forest? Forest. Walking or two-wheeler or a four-wheeler? Walking. If there was a lo lovely table and a great book and a great musical system over there, what would you choose? Read the book, listening to the music on that beautiful table. Very smart. Very, very smart. You are, you know, from here, you're giving very good answers. So I guess you have a lot of wisdom to share, which you've been already sharing with us. Thank you very much, ma'am. And one last request we have, we would like you to add on three magical words. As we have three, please, sorry, and thank you. Apart from please, sorry, and thank you, we, we would like you to contribute today on the International Fab Talks, additional three magical words. Love, connections, respect. Very good. Love, connection and respect. And this all tells me who you are right from the start till the end. When I put this question towards the end, you get to know what they've been sharing right through. You know, that's all very true what you've been sharing. And we get to know the inner thoughts. Are they really merging and matching when you've shared all of that? You love to respect everyone. You love to connect. You love, you focus on the word love, universal love, universal brotherhood, universal kindness. Very nice. Very true. I really had a wonderful experience. In fact, I also interviewed myself with you. I gave you a chance to interview myself also. It went on very well. I really enjoyed the time. And look forward to having many more interactions with you, getting to know more about you and your work. And I would love people out there to get connected with this special celebrity of ours today. She is Miss Nagapriya Sarvanan from Coimbatore, India. Tamil Nadu, India. Right? Yes, dear. Would you have would you like to share something else, ma'am, before we sign off? Yes, Andrea. Yes. Thank dear. you for being that warm, wonderful host. You make people very, very comfortable. You get into their zone and you pick something from there. And you just again you come to your zone and you have something to say from that. And again, you come to our zone. That so that shift and transition that you are doing is amazing. Because generally, hosts. Either they have only their perspectives or they have the perspective of the speaker. But you are a beautiful amalgamation of both. And I can see the passion that you have towards what you do. 
you are truly connected with what you are so thank you for sharing your moments with me it was very nice interacting with you and you were telling you felt the warmth it is mutual i feel the warmth with you that's because unconsciously you are exuding that warmth to me so it's always mutual you attract what you think and what you give Yes, dear. Thank you for signing off on that beautiful note, ma'am. Thank you so much. And thanks for accepting the in invitation from the International Fab Talks. Thank you. Thank you once again, Andrea, for this wonderful, wonderful opportunity. And thank you for comparing me with the way how I talk to your mother. That was a special note for me. I take it as a credit. Thank you, dear. Thank you very much. Thanks. Thank you, Andrea. Good day. Yes. Good day. Bye. Yes. Bye, ma'am. Dear friends, with this, we'd like to sign off from the International Fab Talks. Thank you for being with us. Stay connected and stay tuned. Spreading love across the world. Remove hatred and spread love. That is the message from our beautiful guest who's been sharing her time and space with us. Thank you, ma'am.